Hi, welcome to Confessions of a Beauty Junkie. Here at Caravan Stylist Studio, I'm Valerie Starr, and today is going to be super fun festival hair. So you know, it is festival season, Coachella is going on, so what do you need? You need awesome hair. And what do you need to make awesome hair? Well, you need some product, and you need a few things to bedazzle it. So we love using OGX here at Caravan Stylist Studio. They've got some amazing products that are our go-to's for so many different hairstyles. So, we love the sea salt spray. This is great, it's gonna give you a really awesome beachy texture, especially because you probably don't wanna be carrying around a bunch of heavy hot tools when you're at a festival. The surf paste, which is great for long and short hair. You're doing short hair, you want it spiky, you want some texture, surf paste. You have long hair, but you wanna add just a little bit of like, chunked texture, should I say, which doesn't really sound that good, but you might know what I mean. I'll show you later. But this is great for that. A very little bit goes a long way. It's like a pomade. And then to add extra shine, a little gloss, we love coconut water because it's really light, but it still adds that really great shine. And then to add gritty like texture and volume to the roots, we have the Bamboo Full Fiber Spray, which I really, really love. Mist it into the roots. You can either just let it air dry or rough dry with a blow dryer, probably if you're at a festival probably don't have a blow dryer. So, just air dry it is. Now, to bedazzle the hair, some of the fun stuff. So, I love, love, love using just wire. Gold wire looks great, especially if you've got dark hair, like my model hair. So the gold will go really well. Say you're a blonde, go for a different color because it might blend too much and then what's the point, right? You'd get lost. I'm also kind of obsessed with the idea of taking your grandma's jewelry. Because you know what? Everyone has grandma's jewelry. It's stuff that you're really not going to wear, but it's just sitting around. So why not get some use out of it by actually accessorizing it in the hair? So say you put a braid in the hair and literally take that necklace and clip it here and here and just have it like hang within the hair loosely. It looks really awesome. And then you know what? You're paying homage to your grandma, which is kind of amazing in itself, right? And then colored bobby pins. You know, I mean, these are easy, super easy to travel with for sure because they're very little, but you know, they have come in all kinds of colors. Yellow, red, I just dropped the blue, there's silver, purple, whatever. I mean, you can find them anywhere and for really inexpensive. And then there's these, I don't even know what they're called, but you can put them onto braids, clips. Can you see that? They come in gold, silvers, and these are really great too. Say you're braiding, add a few in there, just to like kind of add a little bit of shine, a little something extra, just so that you have that extra pizzazz in your hair, because especially if you're at a festival. So for this hairstyle, just gonna keep the hair natural as it is, and I'm gonna go in and just do a braid. So say we, we definitely wanna keep the length, you know, because she has great long hair. So I'm just gonna take two small sections, from right around the ear area. This will also frame the face. Get it out of your face, and less maintenance the better, right? So I'm gonna do a fishtail. Since I've grabbed a little bit from each side, I also wanna make sure that they're both even. So I'm gonna grab a little more here, and that one's good. Okay, so I've got two sections here, one and one. I take a small bit from one side, pull it over into the opposite side. Same thing opposite side, I take a little bit from the outside, and I flip it over and bring it in to that other one, if you can see here. Let me spin you this way, okay. Same thing, a little bit from the outside, flip it over, pull it into that other one. Continue doing this all the way down the hair. Okay, so the braid here is done. Now I'm going to tie it off. So first, just gonna use a regular hair tie, and I'll hide it. And I'll show you a really great trick for hiding them, which I am obsessed with. Wrap it off a few times, you know, of course, you could use a little rubber band, whatever works for you. Okay, now that you've got this, what I'm gonna do, so I have a hairpin here, just a regular hairpin. I want two of these now. So here's one, let me grab another. I forgot to grab. Okay, so we've got the second one, right? Hairpin. What I'm gonna do is I take the hairpin 
and I pop it right into here. So if you can see that, I've put it right in between there. Now, I just let it hang out for a minute, take the rest of the hair, we'll take a small section of that and wrap it around that hair tie so that you hide it. Okay, I've wrapped it around three times, that hides the hair tie itself. I take this other hairpin, string it through that wrapped piece of hair, and then take that and kind of thread it through the upper part of that other hairpin. Pull it down, pull it through, and it literally threads your hair through that and hides your hair tie, which is kind of ingenious, I think. Now, we've got this. I do just want it really organic and natural looking. And I'm gonna take this now. So this is my gold wire. And, you know, be careful not to poke an eye out because you probably could do that, especially if you've been at a festival all day. But you're just gonna take it and just wrap it through the hair however you want and it looks great like I do love the gold wire in dark hair because you can really see it so you definitely want to get something that's going to be like an opposing color to your natural hair so that it really pops and you can notice it in there inside of it and hide that end and voila really cute okay hairstyle number two is colored bobby pins once again, super easy and definitely light to pack. For this one, I, you know, of course, keep the hair natural, however it really is. If you've got the beachy ways, if you've got curls, if, if it's pinned straight, any of these like hair textures work for this. I would personally, if your hair is straight, spritz in a little bit of the sea salt spray just to give it some texture and a little bit of grab kind of feel to it so that these bobby pins stay in really easily and well all day. I'm going to go in actually with the yellow since they're going to really pop on her black hair. And these, you kind of just want them to be a little crazy. So I want to just take the hair. I'm not going to grab all of it. We're just going to take the top portion, leave a little bit uh, loose and down. And I just want a little bit of volume here. So I'm just going to twist it just a little and push up. There we go. Now start taking your bobby pins. And since they're colored, you really do want them to see. So it's not the point in trying to hide them. You really want these to be a showcase for the hairstyle. And it's fun just to kind of literally crisscross them, make them really prevalent in the hairstyle. I also like this if you're doing just like a one side kind of thing and to pin them all along the side, that looks really cute. Also, use as many as it takes as well to make your hair feel secure. I'm also going to add in some silver because why not? I have some. And there you go. Super, super easy and really adorable. Just takes a handful of bobby pins and you've got a great style. Now on to hairstyle number three. This one's super fun and I'm a little obsessed over this braid. So it's called a snake braid or an S braid. So since her hair's black, it's black, you can't really see. So we're gonna fudge it and I'm just gonna use a little piece of white paper so that you can actually see it. Can you hold this for me a little? Okay, perfect. So I've done just a regular braid, just a three strand braid here. Let me finish it off. Just a little bit here, regular braid, and now you get down closer to the end and you've got the three strands. Well, I'm going to hold on to just one of them, okay? And then take the other two and push up. And then you can kind of manipulate it and work it down. And you get this really, really interesting kind of shape to the braid. I love it. It's really unique and it's a little, it's a twist on a braid, you know, making it something a little bit different. I'm just going to tie it off. And then we'll remove this and I'm going to add in a few of these little gold clips and just kind of clip it in wherever you want really easy and then you just pinch and it pinches it back together. So use these to hide your rubber band as well which is really easy and fun. 
And you can go to town with this or just do it minimally. Whatever floats your boat and whatever you feel like rocking that day. That's it, and thank you so much. Have a great day.